The Court of Appeal in Abuja has voided the election of the lawmaker representing Adama North Senatorial District in the National Assembly, Ishaku Abo. Senator Abo of the All Progressives Congress confirmed that the court voided his election in favor of the candidates of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Amos Yohana. Senator Abo had won his re-election in the February 25, 2023 National Assembly election while Yuana came second, as he declared by as declared by the Independent National Electoral Commission. Now recall that sometime in September, Senator Abo spoke well, he spoke with us on the program and he talked about some high handedness of Senate President Goswil Pabio and how his Senate leadership is not in the interest of Nigerians. I was never a part of any impeachment plot, but meetings have been going on. And some of these meetings, we are not happy with the way Senator Akwabio, the Senate President, is running the Senate. We are not happy. And I can name certain incidents, one, two, three, or four to ten, I can name. But for one of time, let me start, maybe I can name three. One, Senate is a place of seniority. You have ranking in the National Assembly just like you have seniority in the military. When that ranking is not looked at in uh, maybe allotment of committees, there will be a problem. Secondly, there are people who we are for and against Senator Apabio during uh, the, 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 the run for the Senate presidency. When time came for the allocation of committees. He allocated the entire grade one committees to his loyalist. If you look at this, for example, I will show you a document here. If you look at this, if you look at this, these lines here that you are seeing this one, they read up here. All of this from number one to number 39, they read, 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 you are seeing. All of us are proper people. You can only see two green, which are actually some sort of Yari people, and the yellow one in the center is the one that voted for Yari, but was brought in by somebody that is in government. So the entire from the amount number 39 is a Pabio people. And even the vice chairmanship of the committee, the vice chairmanship this side of the committee, out of 39, he only gave 12 slots to, 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 to the opposition as vice chairmanship. So you took over great air committees, and even the vice chairmanship you denied was, and you won't have peace. Who's peace? Oh, well, that was uh, Senator Elisha Abu um, here on uh, Breakfast Central a few, you know, weeks, maybe months ago. Weeks. Um, you know, discussing, of course, issues in the National Assembly, and, of course, you know, m you know little bits of grumbling here and there with the new Senate President, uh, he, of course, has now been sacked uh, by the appeal court. Um, these things would normally not be linked, but in a press conference yesterday, Senator Elisha Abo did mention that the travels he's going through at the appeal court with his election is because of the Senate president, who he called his brother, uh, Gotsula Pabio. It's kind of hard to understand, you know, how these things connect because there's a court that says that your elections didn't, you know, go through the regular processes. So maybe he's you know, issues, is, issues with the INEC register and the INEC, you know, um, you know, all of that. Um, then how does the Senate yeah, exactly. president, you know, like, I mean, le legislature and the exactly. judiciary... So, so what, what I'm saying so is because... Um, so when you hear stories like this, you know that you're hearing a Nigerian story. If you hear a story where the courts, the election tribunal says that the way and manner with which you were elected into office didn't go through the laid down principles, you know, of elections. And so would have to counsel you, your, you know, elections. We have to ask that you step aside for the next person to get in. It's only in Nigeria that that will be interpreted as the Senate president is fighting five of us in the National Assembly that didn't support his election as Senate president. Because that's what he said yesterday in his press con conference. That Senator Godfrey Lapabio, the Senate president, is fighting and he's one out of the five that will be kicked out he said senator ojo zokalu also will be ejected from you know the from national assembly and a few other he didn't mention the other names but it's only it's a nigerian thing to hear a story like that and link both of them together so um will he be appealing you know i, I think he, he said that he will. will um will he be successful time that will tell 
um, will these things be proven? And of course, is it is it true that there are members of the National Assembly who uh, St. Augusto like Fabio is fighting or trying to bring down? Nobody knows, you know, if, if all of that could be verified. Um, but if you remember also, he did, um, he was very vocal um, when he had an interview with us about the issues that they were currently having with the Senate president back then. Yeah, no. And he, he also mentioned it again yesterday that their members of the National Assembly are feel very disrespected by the appointments that have been given to them, the committees that they've been given or not given the National Assembly on that Senator Godfrey Lakpavio. And, and I, I mean, in those conversations, I don't think that his agitation was for the Senate president to be removed or to be impeached or to be, you know, in any oh, way he, removed he didn't from mention office. anything Yeah, like he didn't that, mention yes. anything like that. It would seem that all they wanted was a change in the way that he ran office. Yeah. Well, yes, like you mentioned, we don't understand what the correlation between the judiciary and the legislature is, so or if it. he's anyway inferring that the legislature can influence the judiciary. I think it would be great to have him shed further light on that. Yeah, hopefully we can have him back. All right. Mm -hmm.